So I have my new camcorder. It's an HD camcorder. And I want to be able to use my computer over here. And it's not a real computer, I'm just using this. I just put this computer together. And I want to use it as a 1080p webcam is possible. Okay, so you're gonna have to, um, you know, set aside some money that you're gonna have to spend. So, we're gonna need a couple of things, and uh, I'll show you guys what you need here, okay? So, we're gonna need a computer, we're gonna need the camcorder that you're gonna be using, you're going to need the TV cable. If yours is a standard jack, then use that, just like that. It's like a, I think, 3.5 millimeter. Whatever it is, 2.5, 1.5, whatever it is. This is the TV cable that came with that. It clearly says it's day. TV, you need that. And, um, you don't need the USB cable that is for your, uh, camcorder. I'm using the Kodak PlaySport ZX3. And what you're gonna need here, and this is where all the money is gonna have to be spent, really is a capture card. Um, this is a $70 Roxio USB capture card. I bought this with um, the Easy VHS to DVD program and um, that cost me 70 bucks altogether. So now I can convert VHS to DVD and I get a capture card to record my PS3 and Wii games which I don't really, you know, do, but it's, po it's possible. So this is how you do it. You're gonna need this capture card. Um, it's something that resembles this is uh, Easy Cap. Um, or some people say video DVR for some reason, and um, they're not that good. Everyone knows that. So you want a good chunk. You need a capturing program and that has integration. There's the capture feature on my program. First thing you're gonna put your USB capture onto the into the computer. And your th your computer should have the driver for this install when you first get it. As well, uh, if you don't, if you just bought it, then um, it should install automatically. If not, just go online and search the product. Um, okay, so now that you have that done here, you're going to need the cable for the camera you're going to try and use. So I'm going to take my trusty cutter here. Are the cables. Mm -hmm. So let's undo this tie here. Now your 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 camera has to support um uh like you know actually live viewing. Some don't. I'm put this one. I'm pretty sure doesn't do it. So when I connect it to the HDTV, it doesn't. So when you take the capture card here, capture card, you're gonna plug in whatever is according to what you have. Sometimes you have red too. It's yellow to yellow. And um, where it go? White to white. Look at that. And the other end plugs into your camera. Okay. So I'm looking at the devices that are on, and only one. And this one says capture from TV signal, but uh, I don't believe that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, okay, so let me connect the other end to my camera. And power it up. And there you, you can see that um, it's connected. In one second here. There we have it. 1080p and record you guys. Stop it. And then plug it in. There you can see it. without having to move stuff in. 
and um, that's how you basically use it. That's pretty much it. This is Salar from Pixstats. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and this is how you use your HD camcorder as a you know capture device.